morning class. We're starting with geography today. We're gonna to be working on maps of Minnesota. Go ahead and get out your coloring supplies and get to work. Ooh, I'm so excited, I love maps. <sighs> I'm gonna put my house and all my favorite hockey rinks on here. Oh no, I don't have any colored pencils or markers. Can somebody help me? Uh, oh, I don't really have that many and I might need all of these. <sighs> I can't help her. If I don't have a colored pencil, then I can't finish this assignment. If I can't finish this assignment, I won't learn geography. And if I don't learn geography, I won't know where things are. And if I don't know where things are, I'll probably get lost in a swamp. And if I get lost in a swamp, I'll have to live among the crocodiles in order to survive. If I live with the crocodiles, I'll have to teach them to read and write. And if crocodiles learn to read and write, then they could use that knowledge to start their own villainous crocodile spy society. And then they won't stop until they take over the world. I don't want crocodiles to take over the world. I need a colored pencil. Hey everyone, welcome to The Elevate Show. Like always, I'm Dan, this is my buddy Sharia. Dan. Do you think something like that could happen in real life? Probably not. Because Dan, here's the thing. I don't have a lot to give, and if I don't have a lot to give, how can I possibly be generous? Being generous means sharing what we have and giving more than other people might expect. Dictionary Dan. And if I can't be generous, then people might think I'm a bad person, and if people think I'm a bad person... <laughs> Sharia, <laughs> hang on. It's okay. We've got a Bible story coming up that I think might help you feel a little bit better. And we're gonna get to that right after a short break. Hello, I am South Dakota Sharia, and I'm here in biblical times to hunt for some treasure. Now, if I were treasure, where would I be? Whoa! Hey, wh what's going on here? What's going on here? What's going on with you? You're not from around here, are you? Nope. Hey, help me out. What's going on? Oh, well, you see that guy over there? That is Jesus. The whole crowd has gathered to hear him speak. The problem is it's dinner time and we don't have any food to give them. Hey, I found a boy with five small loaves of bread and two fish. It's not much. I don't know how far it'll go with this crowd, but maybe we can use that? Yeah, it's not much. But here, I'll give it to you. Thank you. Woo! That fish sure has a strong smell. You get used to it. Have everyone sit down. Uh, whoa, Jesus. There are at least 5,000 people here. There's no way this is enough. What are we gonna do? Amen. Here, give them something to eat. How is this gonna work? <gasps> Whoa! Th that's amazing! How, how is that bucket refilling? How do people have enough? It's a miracle! Um, hey, I have a lot of food to pass out here. You wanna help? Oh! Uh, sure! <laughs> All right, it looks like pretty much everyone's finished eating, so uh, let's gather up the leftovers and don't waste anything. Wow, that's amazing. Oh no, I got so caught up in what was going on here, I forgot to look for treasure. Now I'm no better off than I was before. Aren't you though? What do you mean? Well, I sure learned something from seeing that boy give away his lunch. Yeah, that was cool, but I don't see what that has to do with treasure. Well, Jesus showed us that sometimes treasure isn't about what you see or touch. Sometimes treasure is seeing the difference that it makes when you give. I think God can use what we give to change the world, even if it's only a little bit. Wow. So the real treasure here is generosity.
Welcome back to The Elevate Show, everyone. Today, we're talking about giving. And so now, it's time to talk about that in a segment we like to call, Tell Me About It. Tell me about it. Tell me about it, yeah. Many of us may feel like we don't have a lot to give. Like, we'll never be able to do anything big. Sure, we have some things, but not enough to give. When that huge crowd showed up to listen to Jesus teach, they didn't have any food. But all it took to save the day was a kid who generously gave what he had and the power of God at work to make a miracle happen. Now, God may not do a miracle and make a bunch more of your stuff like he did in the story today, but giving a little can still make a big difference in someone else's life. Ooh, yeah. Like when we were making maps earlier and then crocodiles took over the world. Can you imagine how different that might have turned out if you'd actually given me some of your colored pencils? Um, I don't have any colored pencils or markers. Can somebody help me? Uh, I don't have much, but here, have some of mine. Thank you. Sometimes sharing what you have can make a big difference. In this instance, Lil Sharea could finish her assignment, which meant she would do better in school. And if she did better in school, she would learn a lot of stuff. And if she learned a lot of stuff, she'd be able to figure out how to build things like spaceships. And if she figured out how to build things like spaceships, she could probably go work at NASA. And if she went to work at NASA, she could probably be the first person to walk on Mars someday. So if you give someone a colored pencil, they might go to Mars. Maybe, but even if they don't end up going to Mars, giving what you have could really help somebody out and even make their day. So. Who could you share something with? You might share a toy or some food like the boy in our Bible story did today, or who knows? Maybe even share a colored pencil and make someone's day. Remember, God can use what you give to change the world, even if it's something that feels small. We are headed to a short break right now, but when we come back, we're gonna finish out our show like we always do by playing a fun game. We'll see you in a bit. Hey everyone, welcome back to The Elevate Show. We're about to close out our episode the way that we always do, by playing a fun game. This one is called Spot the Difference. Today we've been talking about how sharing small things can make a big difference. And our game today is about spotting small differences. Our crew is gonna come out and create a scene for us using a variety of different props. We're gonna get to look at that scene for a few seconds and then they're gonna change some things when we're not looking. It's our job to see if we can spot the difference. You can play too. You can see if you can spot the difference before we do. Let's, let's play. play. All right, let's see what we got here. All right, this is quite the scene. Yeah. People, stuff on the desk, okay. couch. Memorizing, memorizing. Come on, come on. Okay. Got it. It's time. Okay. We gotta put on our headphones so we can't hear anything moving around. Should probably and turn around so we don't see anything we'll turn either. Around. Wow. I can't hear anything. Can you I hear can't, anything? No, I can't hear anything. Oh, but you heard me say that. Oh. That doesn't make sense. <laughs> this wall is very interesting to look at. Yes. We're just gonna talk because we're trying not to look. It's time. All oh! Right. Okay, there's a few things that are different. Yeah. Here. All right, well, Quinn's got a new wig on. And she Looking didn't have fabulous. the king robe before. No. The arrow is blue. Is, and going and down. And facing the other way. Yep, so that's different. There's a star pillow. That was not there. That was not there. The oh, look! Our, uh, our little <laughs> crocodile's got. He's taking over the world. Oh, no, that's not good. That is not good. <laughs> Stuff of nightmares. The green squeaky toy was not in my mug before. No. I kind of want to wash my mug now. The bird isn't in the lemon tree. That's good. I didn't notice that. Wow. The pig is now a camel. A camel. And someone added a scented candle to my desk. Was that all of it? We crushed it. Woo! All right, we are back for round two. We've added a few things, including our friend Chris here. Looking good, Chris. <laughs> and he's really committed to striking that pose, which I respect. Okay, memorizing. This is it. Okay, all right. Our time is up. We have to stop looking. It's time to turn around. 
All right. Wow. Back to our time with the wall. Yes. Does it kind of feel like we're at a timeout to you? A little bit. Face the corner. Just got to go sit in the corner. Look at nothing. Stare around. <sighs> oh, yeah. This is our moment. Let's look. Oh, boy. Chris has got a mustache. Yeehaw! I think his hat here changed a little bit. And he's no longer holding a, uh, a paddle. paddle. <laughs> now that's a... A grippy grabber. Grabber, yeah. The okay. lantern turned it's on. It's on! That's Surprise different. <gasps> Our button is red. Our button is red. And the, the bin that has the loaves and fishes is blue. It's blue. Oh, wow, I did not notice that. Mm -hmm. Although I did notice that we now have a Christmas tree instead of a palm tree. <laughs> that's true. That's true. <laughs> oh! Danny's arms are gone. <laughs> I was like, there's something different about him, but I couldn't tell, and I'm proud of you for noticing Danny, that. are you okay? Okay. Two more differences. Did the glow of the backdrop change? I didn't even I think look. it might have been purple before. You're right. And it's now it's green. green now. That's cool. Wow. And then... Oh, the pillows have changed. <laughs> oh, they flipped them. They flipped the pillows. Ah, that was subtle. Good catch. Yeah. Hey! We got it! Go team! Good for us. Nice. All right, everybody, we're just about finished up with our show, but before we go, it's time for a mailbox moment. It's a mailbox moment. All right, our first letter today comes from Andrea, and she writes, will you ever answer my letters? I've written to you a lot. And Andrea, I'm so sorry that we haven't been able to reply to you any sooner. We read every single letter that is sent to us. And even though we can only reply to two of you, we care about all of you. Mm -hmm. And your letters influence what we do here on our show. And for those of you who are going through tough stuff right now, I wanna let you know, we read your letters, we're praying for you. Our second letter today comes from Anora, who wants to know, how do you change your costume so fast during the show? And that, my friend, is a trick of video editing. All right, if you'd like to send us a note, you can write us a letter and put it in the mailbox at your campus, or you can send us a note online. And remember, God can use what we give to change the world. Coming up next week, we're gonna be asking the question, why do we pray? It's gonna be a good episode. We'll see you then.